Hello and welcome to another part of my melee combat system tutorial series. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to create better blend space for your character. So first go to the animation folder, right click, go to the animations, select blend space, select your skeleton and let's call it BS weapon lock on. Open it, set the horizontal axis name to direction set the minimum axis to minus 180 and maximum will be 180 number of grid digits will be 8 and the vertical axis name will be speed maximum value will be 400 now with this setup we can set the animations and blend them together first we want to get idle animations so get your idle animation and set it at the bottom in the middle and set it of course in the bottom left and bottom right now we need walk animation Just type walk and set it at the center so now you can see that we can walk and for run animation you need to set it at the top in the middle so now we can run and walk, but we cannot strafe to the right or walk right or even going backwards. So first let's create walking backwards. So type walk backwards and set it at the left in the middle and at the right. And of course we want to run backwards too, so set it at the top left and at the top right now you can see that the character can walk backwards or even run backwards but it still cannot strafe or walk to the left or to the right so first let's type walk left and set it right here in the middle and walk right and that will be right here now of course we want to run right too and run left and with this setup you can see that the character can walk left and walk backwards or walk right and walk backwards of course he can run left and run right but he still cannot strafe properly so for that I've got another 4 animations, if you don't have them you can just set it like this because it blends somehow together but it's not quite good. But if you have those animations let's set them together. So first walk left 45 degrees and set it right here. Now walk right 45 degrees we will set it here now of course we want to set the run animations and run left and now you can see that the blending is much better but it's not so good again if we want to walk backwards so for that I've got another four animations and they are walk 135 degrees set left to the left side and right to the right side and of course we want to set run animations so set it to the left and to the right now you can see that the animation blends perfectly always but we need to set this blend space somehow in the anim blueprint so for that save it close it Go to the mannequin, animations, open third person MVP, go to the event graph and we need to calculate somehow the direction. So right click, type calculate direction, right click again, type try get all owner. From the return value get actor rotation and get velocity. Return value of velocity will be in the velocity and return value from rotation will go to the base rotation. And of course the return value from calculate direction will be promoted to variable and the variable will be called the direction. 
now with this done we need to somehow check if we are locked on to some player or character so get third person character and get target blocked and the return value promote to a variable and let's call it target locked and set it now with this done go to the ending graph default and drag off the weapon movement at state state will be called weapon lock on and we want to go to this state only if target lock is true and go back only if target lock is false so type not boolean and set it to the result now go back to the default to the weapon lock on and right click type bs weapon lock on set the direction to direction and speed to speed and set it here now compile save and now if we play and target to character you can see that our character is normally running but if we pick up the weapon and target again you can see that our character is strafing moving backwards moving forward but you can see only run animations so let's change that go to your third person character go to character movement and right here at the walk speed set it to 200 and now if we play you can see the normal walk animations so that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new and goodbye